In my previous video, I mentioned deliberate practice as one of the key factors that separates average players from expert performers. In this video, I'm going to explain what is deliberate practice, how you can apply it to League of Legends, and I will give you a training program at the end of the video so you can start implementing this method right away. In order to understand what is deliberate practice, we must first understand what makes it different from regular practice. While regular practice includes mindless repetition and focuses on overall improvement, deliberate practice requires focused attention and it's conducted with specific goals each session. This concept of deliberate practice is introduced by psychologist Anders Ericsson from the Florida State University. Ericsson is widely known for his research in the psychological nature of expertise and human performance. He has researched how expert performance from various domains of expertise learned their craft and became the best. From his research, he concluded that in order for deliberate practice to be possible, the following principles must apply. The field must be well developed. The best performers must clearly be far superior to the people just entering the field. If there's no competition to indicate skill, then it's hard for there to be deliberate practice because the differences of the best are less clear. Deliberate practice requires a teacher who can provide practice activities designed to help the student improve his or her performance. This is not always required, as you can be your own teacher if you know how to research and spot your own weaknesses, but having an experienced teacher is far superior. Near maximal effort, constantly being taken out of your comfort zone, well-defined specific goals, not aimed at just overall improvement. Full attention and conscious action, no autopilot. Feedback and constant little improvements, modifying efforts in response to feedback. Building and modifying mental representations. I will cover this concept in my next video. But as a quick overlook, mental representations are what allow us to plan and visualize a process before actually doing it, which will help us when performing it. Focusing on building and improving specific skills by focusing on aspects of those skills and improving them. Basically breaking down each skill into small chunks and improving each one at a time. In deliberate practice, specific tasks are invented to overcome weaknesses and performance is carefully monitored to provide cues for ways to achieve further improvement. Deliberate practice is not mere mindless repetition of a certain task, but a focused approach to training aimed at reaching a well-defined goal. Research by Ericsson and colleagues has shown that the main determinant of success in expert performers is not the amount of time spent practicing but the amount of time devoted to activities specifically targeted at aspects of performance that need improvement. After initial mastery of basic skills, some types of practice are unlikely to lead to further improvement. In other words, repetition in itself is not enough. Progress depends on sustained efforts to purposely enhance particular aspects of performance. But how do we apply this to League? In League of Legends, just like any other expertise, after the initial learning of basic skills, repetition of those same skills is unlikely to lead to further improvement. This is why we need to define clear and specific goals based on a player's weaknesses. For example, let's say a player has a bad habit of not checking whether his summoner spells are up or not before going in for a kill. After the weakness has been defined, the next step is to develop a training program to fix that weakness in particular. In this case, it will be to develop a new habit of being consciously aware of your summoner spells the entire game, so that your brain primes this information as important and starts paying attention to this every game. To do so, go and play 10 games only with this in mind. Don't focus on anything else. Don't try to win these games. Remember, these are practice games where your only goal is to develop a new habit. The next step will be to monitor the player's progress and assess if the player has improved this skill or not based on his results. The player must modify his efforts based on the feedback from the recent performance. 
decreasing the intensity or volume of practice sessions to avoid burnout or anxiety, or increasing them to avoid reaching boredom. Always trying to stay outside one's comfort zone. A common mistake that a lot of players have when trying to practice is that they can't differentiate practice from climbing, which causes them to confuse the two. Playing ranked games generally isn't practicing. You're basically just trying to win the game using all of your skills. But when you want to practice deliberately, you have to focus on one skill in particular. A great way to fix this is to separate practice from climbing. Having days where you focus only on practice and days where you focus on climbing. Generally, you want to practice on a smurf account or normal games instead of ranked games, so that your brain doesn't feel the need to perform. Remember, this is practice, your goal is to make mistakes, to go outside your comfort zone, not to win this specific game. Just do whatever helps your mind understand that this is the learning zone, not the performance zone. I will cover this concept in a future video as well. Another really big mistake is that a lot of players tend to autopilot when they practice. Autopiloting is when you are playing the game, letting yourself get carried over by your habits and not being consciously aware of what you want to do this game. In League, taking autopiloting out of the way is really important if you want to practice effectively. If you jump to game directly with no plan, or if you jump to game with a plan but then you autopilot, you've basically improved nothing. If you don't consciously focus on improving a specific aspect of your play in each game, you will most likely not improve anything at all. Improvement is much greater when it's specific, not general. James Clear, author of Atomic Habits, mentions the following. Too often we assume we are getting better simply because we are gaining experience. In reality, we are merely reinforcing our current habits, not improving them. This means if you're always doing the same things in game and you're not aware of them, you will most likely keep doing the same things the next one. As expertises develop, the effect of repetition has on skill acquisition vanishes. That's why you need to push yourself outside your comfort zone in order to see new improvements. A great tool that I use myself and I recommend to most of my students is a meditation bell. This tool is great for pulling you out of the game and your current stream of thoughts. It helps you refocus on whatever it is that you wanted to practice before the game started. I'll leave a link of this tool in the description. Deliberate practice success compared to regular practice lies on its understanding of how skills are formed, improved and refined. By breaking each skill into small chunks that can be trained independently. While regular practice is centered at overall improvement, it is generally really slow and hard to see if you are progressing or not, as you have no way to measure how much you are improving each skill. In the best case scenario, you are maintaining your current skill, but there is research suggesting that it can even get worse as time goes by. So, as Anders Ericsson puts it, here's deliberate practice in a nutshell. Get outside your comfort zone, but do it in a focused way, with clear goals, a plan for reaching those goals, and a way to monitor your progress. Oh, and figure out a way to maintain your motivation. Alright guys, that's gonna be it for this video. Please let me know in the comments down below if you found this information useful. I'm planning to continue this series covering mental representation next. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss the future content, like the video if you've enjoyed it, and I will see you in the next one.